Hey everybody, welcome to Tank Tactics. Uh, it's a new series where I'm going to break up gameplay and I'm going to teach you guys what to do and not to do. Um, here we are in Ensk and I'm in my M4. This entire video I'm going to be in my M4. And uh, the reason I'm showing you guys the loading screen is because I want you guys to see what kind of tanks we're going to be up against. I think it's very helpful for me to know who's on the other team instead of just going into a, a game and just running around. Because when I know what other tanks I'm facing, I also know a lot better what's going to be happening in the flow of the game. Um, so as a medium, we're going to be flanking for the most part. And if we aren't going to be flanking, we're going to be dying. So I'm just going up the middle because I get a lot of cover from the trains here. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of action in the field to the left, which is not too much of a concern for me. However, I try to get around and maybe pick up some arty and flank. And there's one arty behind me, so I take a shot here. And I fix my track real quick, and I get the hell out of the way. So now I could be screwed, but I get some help. And I could just run away, but it looks like that guy is doing some work, and I might as well help him because he did save me. Um, so this brings me to a new point, and a point that if you're going to get into a battle, or or you're taking damage, don't be afraid to get out of the way. I think I see... A, a lot of people who who get into a fight, a gunfight, and they just sit there and just blast away at each other. Especially in a medium tank, you really can't afford to do that. Um, here I got attacked from behind, and I moved up on a Churchill tank, I think, yeah. Uh, this is, again, you're, you're more of a support. I think everybody enjoys playing a heavy tank, and going up there and taking all this damage and shooting a giant gun off but you can have just as much enjoyment if you pl play to the style of your tank um, this is the next clip and this is in Westfield again I'm in my M4 and there is a, a Wolverine, an M10 Wolverine a Churchill and a 2KV1 aside from that the other tanks I really don't worry about too much because I can handle them also, I've got the 76mm M4A1, which is a complete beast. Without that, this tank is sort of mediocre, but with it, I think it's one of the best in the tier. So, uh, here we are again. I'm, I'm moving out front quick, but that's just because I want to be in a reactive, reactive area. Um, I have a lot of cover from the tree, so unless somebody comes plowing through here, I shouldn't really have too much of an issue. So uh, I see a guy, just uh, a light running across the map. But here's where we're going to be using our t our medium tank tactics. And uh, it's really about being patient, guys. You really can't force something like this. In some games, you're really not going to get the, the opportunity to to do what I'm doing right here but you can create them by being patient and you'll see this is just absolutely devastating because not only is a flanking good for the sake of armor penetration but you're gonna take less damage you're gonna feel pretty awesome doing it and you're and you're gonna be actually getting a real experience out of it versus running in there and guns blazing and get blown up so there we go. Uh, I had some help from other tanks, but just blew that guy away. This gun is amazing. Honestly, I think this is the best medium tank I've ever played with, and a lot of other people agree. So here we are again, just by being patient and trying to, coming up on the flank. I have gotten two good shots also on that KV-1, which is key because that tank usually spells disaster for teams in the in this tier. Um, so we take out that, uh, actually I take out the, uh, KV-1, and I move on. Um, here's where I make a mistake, and you're always going to be forced to evaluate your situations, and sometimes you just get a little too cocky, and I think this is what happened here. I saw this dude, 
and uh, I got really thirsty because, as you can tell, I'm doing quite a bit of damage to this tank. But I, I get artillery, so I panic, and I, I start rushing them. What I really should have done was turn around and ran away, but I was I felt like the master. But as you can see, I'm missing, and over and over, these um, this, this still ends up getting away with it. So don't be too cocky. You can be doing really well, but the key to being better than doing well is is by focusing. And this isn't an easy game. So here we are, it's KV-1s and M10s and another M4. This is uh, a pretty good game. Uh, I kind of like to assess my situation before the game starts. So uh, if there's four or five KV-1s on the other team, I know I'm probably going to be in for a rough time. So in this map, uh, the southeast corner has that giant um, alleyway hillside, and you can see uh, a lot of the other my teammates are going over there. I tend not to fall into things like that. Uh, they're just too common, and I think it's way too predictable. And being a medium tank, I just don't feel comfortable going up and risking myself like that. It's just not really... A style or a gameplay that is really conducive to success in a medium. So here we are. I'm moving up with this other guy, and we notice there's a guy to the left. Um, the key for me in this tank is to get the front facing uh, your enemy because the sides of this tank are not as well sloped. You have good armor, but uh, the idiot jumps in front of me and takes some damage from me. But Anyways, uh, you don't have to be in in the main assault group to be doing your job. In fact, I find that a lot of times when I see a big group of ten people going together, they they have trouble getting their shot. They they get easier targets for artillery. It's just bad news. So here we are. I'm coming up over the berm here, and this is really dangerous. You gotta be sure that you're not going to be targeted because artillery is quite devastating so here we are we're cleaning out the artillery I think that's an M37 I get a couple good shots off on him really what this comes down to is sometimes you're going to be a, a supporter and that's not necessarily a bad thing if it wasn't for my attacks on that guy we probably would have lost more tanks over there and ultimately maybe even lost this, this skirmish over here so don't be afraid to be support, and um, also don't be afraid to be patient. I think a lot of people get caught up in, in rushing and not really playing the way that their their tank is designed to play the game. And, and that's not me bashing anyone or anybody's play style. It's just I, I find more enjoyment um, out of being successful, and you're successful by playing to your tank strength. So that's it, guys. Um, thank you for checking this out. If you guys like this, come check out more, and um, I'll be sure to to add more videos on this. I'll be covering other tanks, um, heavies, uh, artillery, tank destroyers. If you guys have any questions, if you guys want to play uh, games together, just let me know. Um, I'm kind of busy, but... If I can, that would be fun to platoon up with you guys. So, um, check out my channel. I got other videos on other games. And, um, thanks a lot. Have a good one, guys.